Welcome to the amazing month of August. Time show sure flies. It feels great to be alive. I'm Melinda Akinlami. On our lineup today, we have many interesting things on our schedule. Let's take a look. From Faces and Faces, a show in Lagos. Then we see the latest images up for auction. That and more after we hear from our wordsmith for this week. Our wordsmith for this week is titled The Sailors by Ahmad Obieto. He never told her, and so she never knew. Even though his love could light up the moon, she never showed him because there was nothing to show except her beauty so pure she glowed. To not have her was pain, a pain so deep like a dagger to the heart. He could only bleed. He pressed and expressed, but to no avail. No matter how hard he tried, it seemed more certain that her ship had sailed. She longed for another who longed for another. He and her in the same boat but could not be together. And so is the tale of the beloved and the lover. A lover is beloved and the beloved a lover. Dearly beloved, if you find a lover to whom you can return the favor, then dock your ship for you're a lucky sailor. Faces and Faces is an exhibition of the latest body of work created by these artists at the Pacers Gallery in Lagos. These works of art on display are created by this contemporary artist, Adolfina Imwede, at the Pacers Gallery in Lagos, who begins by explaining the idea behind her illustrative expressions. I believe like everyone has a phase or everyone's going through a phase in life. And like, you know, like they say, like, as our faces are different, so our intentions. So like I really wanted to highlight on that, on like how, you know, like everybody reacts or has like different interpretations or would take action on like whatever phase they are in differently. experience, me interpreting my experience and, you know, my thought processes and my ideas and opinions based on whatever phase I was at whatever particular time and trying to interpret them and, you know, make them into compositions and tell stories through that. Adolfina is someone who uses really good color. You can see it's a lot of purples and pinks and it's, it's, um, it's very appealing. I feel like it's very modern and it's quite youthful and it's really cute. I mean, <laughs> you have to check it out. It's, it's really nice. Founder of the gallery, Wunika Muka, talks about the importance of supporting young talents and encouraging them to fulfill their potential, working closely with this young artist in order to ensure this exhibition sees the light of day. Adolfina is a, a young 
local artist, um, an emerging artist. Uh, we've been working together for a few years, and um, this is her, her second uh, solo exhibition here in Lagos, and uh, we're very excited. She's um, had uh, an amazing run for the past few years. She has quite a lot of local and international demand, um, a lot of people anticipating the show, so we're excited to um, finally have it up. Um, phases and Faces uh, I think is probably some of her most personal work. Um, as I'm sure you're showing images of the works, there is a lot of text um, on some of the works, which are some pages that come out of some of her uh, come out of her diary, and um, just sort of talking about the different phases she's gone through here in Lagos, whether it's you know joy or, or house hunting or um, just basically all the different emotions that um, Lagos and Nigeria can bring out of you. They're all depicted here on this in this show. As the title suggests, the works of art features different faces in their many phases with her acrylic on canvas paintings, which delves into the imaginary world. I feel like I'm telling a story from my point of view because I'm basically a woman and I'm telling a story from my point of view and I'm using other women to also tell my story because I mean I feel like that's what I'm interested in doing and that's what you know excites me to do. You can see a lot of the forms are female, you know, women are nice to look at and they're quite soft and a lot of her characters have really big eyes and they look like dolls, you know, baby dolls that you rock and their eyes roll in the back and it's just a nice nostalgic thing, especially being a girl who used to play with dolls when she was little. is from the work I've seen so far is this is fresh, new. I think I love her combination of uh, the techniques and, and in terms of the, the thought process behind the work itself. And I, I think it's actually um, quite interesting uh, in terms of how she's been able to capture the characters and the emotions in the work using colors and, and uh, some of the, the textures and things of that nature. So. This flight of fantasy shows women who dare to dream, break in misconceptions and to become what they can imagine instead of being limited by their societal expectations. For this body of work I did a lot of um, acrylic on canvas and also oil on canvas and I also did um, pastel, yeah I, I did pastel on canvas and I used I used a lot of gold gold ink so it was oil pastel acrylic and ink prior to this I'm used to you know like doing watercolor pieces like smaller pieces on paper shifting to you know like larger sizes it took me quite a while especially when I used oil because I mean it, uh, it takes quite a while for oil to dry art is a uh, one of those cultural artifacts um, and it 
helps. Uh, Nigerians are appreciating it more. Of course, as things go, the West is now catching on and is very interested in our culture and our art. And it's really beautiful to see young um, artists who maybe before didn't think that they could make this a full-time career, see them doing well and, you know, doing well for their families as well. And it's, uh, it's beautiful to see. Art in Nigeria has always been unique. I think that from a global perspective, I think people may not be aware of how, of a lot of our artists. And I think uh, what I see here is synonymous with what you might find anywhere else in the world. Through her exhibits, the artist encourages people to follow their dreams until they become a reality. Nice. Now let's see the works of art he sent in. Then Art House will be right back with more. Do stay with us. And these are the works of art you sent in this week. We begin with music and art done by a 17 year old. He calls himself Lamdi with this poster color on cardboard paperwork. He says, In my heart, I see beauty, and in my ears, I see melody. Demola Ajayi has rural splendor rendered with mixed media. Invisibility is a digital art done by Jeffrey Daniels. Comfort from the Women and Flowers series is an acrylic on canvas piece done by Desmond Akindoju. Then this pen on paperwork is called My Light, still from an ongoing series. Mark Duke says, the good days are coming. does not tell what's inside. The greatest person is the one who shows love. That's according to James Prince and he titles this work Love, a blue biro and charcoal on paper piece. Then Paul John has this NML on board work, which he calls silence. Blissing Spurucci has this work called Civilization, done with oil on canvas. Then we wrap things up with this work done by Achi Abia Godwin. It's a graving oil painting on canvas called Strength of a Woman. And that concludes the works of art you sent in this week. We appreciate you for always sending them in and encourage you to put your best foot forward, always.
To be creative means to be in love with life enough that you want to enhance its beauty. The modern and contemporary art auction preview in Lagos attracts quite a crowd and just to see what's going under the auctioneer's hammer before D-Day. This is a preview of the images going up for auction at the modern and contemporary auction at this unconventional space in Lagos. It's a auction, so every two times a year, Art House puts on an auction where we um, sell artworks to the highest bidder. So we find, we source for rare artworks and we normally sell from the secondary market. So let's say a collector has collected a work for a high price and he's, he wants to, he thought of the artwork as an investment. So he now wants to um, resell and get a return on his investment. So we actually resell a lot from collectors. And we also sell from artists as well, but it's a secondary market mostly. Everything is um, interesting to me because when I come to this kind of space, uh, it's almost like when you walk into a garden with lots of flowers. Uh, it's difficult to say the flowers don't look good enough. They all complement each other. So um, it's a good combination of um, quality artist, quality work, well assembled. So I love that. themselves anymore so their subjects are getting more and more interesting and they're playing with um, different material and also um, with different subjects so it's getting very interesting. It's a period where the audience gets to take a look at each piece, to know more about it from the resource persons on ground, as well as other details they require to make up their mind and know what to pick before showtime. Well, I've been here before and um, I have to say that this is actually my favorite because I see a lot of stuff that I actually want to pick. and. Um, there are, a lot of there are a lot of favorites that I have, and one of it is this uh, Gerald Chikuma. I just, uh, I don't have that. I mean, I have a Gerald Chikuma, not a wall piece, but I have a mirror and a coffee table, and this looks like something that I would want to pick. Impressive um, collection. Uh, looks much better than the catalogue, um, so we're extremely impressed. 
very well laid out. Um, obviously, this is a fantastic venue. And um, we've been around twice. We've identified some favorites. Uh, one of which is the Ben Osawe sculpture behind us. And then the, uh, there's one, one of the Abadi Glovers. I think it's called Marketplace. The works of art on display, which range from mixed media paintings to sculptural pieces, appeal to the guests differently as they tell us the reason for their choice. It's very unique. It, it's not oil painting. It's, it's just he's so, uh, he's so talented, so creative. I mean, he, he works with a lot of materials and uh, he comes up with the most amazing um, topic, amazing title. I mean, it's just, I mean, look at the colors. It just makes you happy. Personally, it is rom. We all love rom. Um, it reminds me of Fitzgerald in the 20s, because I'm reading the Fitzgerald books at the moment, and it reminds me of those happy, carefree days. And um, I mean, Rom is such a fabulous artist, even though he doesn't live here anymore most of the time. But this is so unusual, it's not typical of his work. This reminds me of us, you see, laughing and having our <laughs> yeah, drinks and enjoying, enjoying yeah. life, generally. Yeah. It's a happy picture, yeah. makes me happy. Um, I love his use of light. Um, on the various, you can see on the shoulders here, and it, he picks up the light and uh, the expressions. I mean, it's just a very happy picture, and that's that's what I love about it. There's a whole lot of movement. There's a whole lot of acceptance in the global market. African art is strong enough. Um, very advanced so far compared to what it used to be and the patronage is very high so I see lots and lots of progress lots of room for expansion for both artists and then the collectors too African art is uh, it's really coming up I mean Forget about African art, African music, African everything. It's just out there. I bought a lot of pieces in the last three years. It's already appreciated so much. Uh, looking at the prices now, I have a glover that has, I mean, I'm looking at the price now, it's just gone up. Um, it's, it's, it's on the right track, it's on the right path. The latest auction organized by the Art House Foundation features images done by veterans and contemporary artists in Africa in order to continue to boost the secondary market and encourage more people to collect art. And there's more to look forward to, but that will be on the next edition of Art House. On the next edition of Art House, Embodiment is an exhibition by three artists in Lagos. In another part of the city, we see the future masters as Generation 5 takes place at the Mydrum Gallery. encourage you to keep liking, sharing and viewing our page so more people can enjoy the ever bubbly and ingenious art scene in the country. Your art house experience doesn't have to end when the show is not on television. Interact with us on our various social media platforms. See any edition of Art House on our website or YouTube page. 
Join our very interactive Facebook page by joining the group on Art House on Channels. We're everywhere. That's the program today. We appreciate you for always being a part of it and look forward to interacting with you online on any of our social media platforms. I'm Melinda Akinlami. Stay safe and keep being creative.